uh, anticipated game between these two teams. Uh, certainly, White Pines coming in with a very, uh, very good roster, and and uh, the Knights uh, are certainly coming into this one uh, extremely uh, undermanned with uh, uh, not having uh, three key players uh, in the ball game uh, for them. Uh, um, we know that Jaden Trudeau uh, was hurt in the uh, NASA uh, final here in Sault Ste. Marie, and uh, so he's going to be out for an extended period of time. And uh, unfortunately, they'll also be without uh, Marcus Ruscio, who had a, an outstanding game the first game we saw them play, and certainly one of their uh, leaders, if not the uh, uh, the biggest leader on their team. And also, Ashton Nate Carter uh, is not going to be playing today. Uh, he was uh, he got he received two technical fouls in the last game he played in the. The rule is that if you get two techs, uh, you have to sit the next one. So uh, certainly not good timing uh, for that and uh, having the injuries that they do have. So uh, it's going to be uh, you know a bunch of other players that are going to have to step up to make this competitive. Uh, or uh, uh, it could be a long afternoon here, or long night, I guess, uh, here at St. Mary's College. Yeah, and White Pines, uh, pretty sure here they're 2-0, uh, or they're 2-0 they're in... Uh, the senior boys loop and coming off a tournament win in North Bay this past weekend, I believe. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I'm not sure how strong that tournament was uh, in the past. It hasn't been the strongest, not to take anything away from the Wolverines, but unless things have changed, it hasn't been overly strong. Uh, but this is a strong White Pines team led by uh, Ian Grant, their head coach. Uh, <clears throat> this team will be uh, led uh, the likes of number 10, uh, Nick Loaded and uh, number 15, Marquise Strawbridge. Uh, Ian Grant's son uh, is also going to have a strong season. Uh, so just uh, Justin Grant. And they've got McCorkle and Pine also on the starting lineup. And starting here for the Knights is going to be uh, number uh, 23, Jay Spurgament. Number 3, Liam Ouellette. And there's Pine. Sorry, that's going to be uh, yeah, That's a great start. And uh, they're off to a great start. It's a three. Four loaded. He's just a little over aggressive here. So we're going to see how St. Mary's is going to handle this pressure. Certainly uh, uh, undermanned here. And so Liam Ouellette's going to have to have a huge game handling this pressure from the, uh, Saint, uh, from the White Pines Wolverines. And they get it into Pergament right away. And he brings it over half. And now... The Knights will operate. It's Lee Mulet, a point guard. And, you know, you talk about a kid with some dog in him. Uh, it's certainly number three. And Anthony Nero, also a very nice player, a uh, great 11 player. So we'll see if those guys can step up and make this close. And certainly taking their time here on this possession. And Nathan Barone, nice hands another, there by Grant. another great 11 player uh, on the floor for the Knights. Nice inbounds, you gotta finish down there. Nari couldn't get it to fall and back come the Wolverines. The three by Strawbridge is, is long and back come the Knights. Referee's time out here. Tommy's. Are we at shot clock again? Come on. No way. We had some issues in the first game with the shot clock, however, I'm not sure what this timeout is for. Certainly a lot of athleticism on the floor uh, for the for the Wolverines and uh, they will definitely be up there as contenders to win the championship here in the senior division. A healthy Knights team will also be in the mix. And we'll see how Cora and Superior Heights improve as the season goes on. Here comes the full court again from White Pines. Yeah, I mean, certainly not difficult to break 
full court pressure. Just get it in, clear out. No trap there by the Wolverines, so the Knights now. So. Nice job by Ulette driving, slashing the 45. He can't get the fall. Barone now, he gets his shot blocked by Marquis Strawbridge. And we'll have an out of bounds play here for the Knights. Nice job there by Liam getting it in. Nari now, he looks to drive. Stopped. Nero, he can shoot it. Anthony Nero's shot is off the mark and oh, foul on the play. Strawbridge in transition will go to the line for two. That's a good job by Pine seeing the man ahead there and getting it to him. Strawbridge makes no mistake, two for two from the line, and increases the lead to five. Press easily beaten, however, they do rush it on the offensive side, and back come the Wolverines in transition. Loud it now, swings it across. Pass deflected there by Nari. Strawbridge back up top. Grant. Kicks it to Pine, his shot is up. Oh. Boom! It is good, and the Knights. Had a quick time out here from Coach Pofu. Are off to a quick start, eight nothing lead here early. And during this time out here, we're just gonna take a second here, and we'd like to thank our corporate champions here Huron Superior Catholic District School Board, Northern Sports Excellence, Free Frame Photos by Bob Davies, Wendy's of Sault Ste. Marie, Team Essentials, Maximus Rose, True House Sports Radio, and the lead the Elite Eight Basketball Academy. And if uh, you're interested in having your business highlighted here on Sioux Sports TV, contact Sioux Sports at Sioux Sports at gmail.com. And um, even early out of the gate here, Ryan, St. Mary's doesn't seem to have a, I'm not just, the injuries are in the hurt, but they don't seem to have a ton of energy here. Well, I mean, uh, White Pines has come up with some pressure and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a young group out on the floor right now uh, for the Knights, and um, they're going to have to find uh, uh, some energy in this game. They're going to have to find some leadership from someone. Everybody on the floor is, is young, and uh, you look at when you look to leadership, you want to look at to number three, and uh, you know you're going to get 100% effort from uh, Lee Moulet throughout the entire game. So they, the rest of the team has to feed off that energy and. Uh, nice job, and now you get to take advantage of the numbers and. Marquise kicks the ball to avoid the easy layup and it'll be sidelines out of bounds for the Knights. Ulet now. Over to Nari. Nari uses the space to drive. Nice finish. See space, take space. Nari for two. Nice elbow cut there from the Corco. Gets it to oh. uh, Strawbridge and errant pass by number 15. And the Knights will now have it. Nice job by Liam there. Oh, I think they got contact on the body. They don't get the call. And in transition the other way is Nick Laudit. And I'm telling you, I don't know if he's an unsung hero at this stage, but Nick Laudit's going to be one of their best players all, all year on the defense and offensive side. And you, you talk about leadership. Uh, this kid plays football, and he's an absolute beast on the football field as well. So 
Looking for big things from number 10. The one more, two out, bang. Oh, oh. Boom! It's Strawbridge for three. That's just pretty basketball. Get it up, kick it to the corner, swing it, find the open three. It's just pretty. Yeah, anytime you get the ball inside, whether it's through uh, dribble penetration or uh, post entry, you want to get two passes out to manipulate the defense for a shot or a drive. And White Pines does a beautiful job there with the one more pass. And Strawbridge makes no mistake. You can't leave him open. He's uh, easily the best three point shooter uh, in the city when, when wide open. So you got to make sure you get a body on number 15 to make sure everything's contested. And, you don't, and then that's what's going to happen. And Grant, a little wild on that uh, attempt, and back come the wool, or back come the knights, and Nero now. And it's shot is up by Barone. It's off the mark, and back come the Wolverines. McCorkle. Nice take. Nice job there by McCorkle driving the 45. A little full court pressure here. Just clear out. Get out of there. And you let now in the half court. Not sure what the Knights are doing here. Now. Just a little horn series. A little UCLA screen, Euro screen, and it's two more. Fernari. Something they've been doing now for three, four years. Have the Knights. Marquise off the mark on that one, and it'll still be White Pines basketball. Into the game for the Knights, number 20. Maddie Tucker and number 21. Nicholas Vecchio. Baseline out of bounds play for the Wolverines. And it's Grant now with the advantage. Shot is up. It is off. Rebounded by Tucker. Nari. Oh. Nice job keeping with it. Shot is blocked initially, but he just goes right back up with it. And it's Nari who's trying to keep his team in it. I believe all six points for the Knights have come from number two. Garen Pine now. Kicks it out to Strawbridge. Decides not to shoot it. Shot is up. Loud it. It's oh. good. Boom. Three more for number 10. Oh, just about got there. Oh, you better pay attention. Oh. Still going to be St. Mary's basketball and you know, the early shooting of uh, Nick Loudit. It's the difference in this one so far. And it's going to be tough sledding for the Knights. They're going to have a hard time finding some easy buckets. So uh, everything they are going to get tonight, they're going to have to earn it. And that's a tough way to win a ball game. And there's another uh, blocked shot there by Marquise. But he can't control his body and ends up running over Matty Tucker. So he's going to go to line for three foul shots. It's a tough break if you're Marquise because you got the ball and just got him on the follow through. Maddie Tucker obviously uh, had a, a great season for the senior Knights on the football field and uh, leading his team to uh, first NASA championship in quite some time. And they got kind of got a a tough draw in having to face London in the offs uh, bowl game and uh, certainly uh, the combination of terrible weather and a tough matchup and it wasn't the result that Knights were looking for on the football field but certainly a, a fantastic season uh, overall for the Knights and number 20 Matty Tucker was a huge part of that quarterbacking his team to that championship Pine now allowed it Looking to drive, drives the 45, kick out, Strawbridge, boom! Can't leave him open, I'll take my chances with a contested shot at the rim before I'm gonna leave number 15 wide open. And 
the Knights are finding out really quick why that's not a good idea. And it's 21-7 here for the Knights. I think they might be four, four Sorry, or for the five, for five from behind the line. Garen Pine has, oh no, they have missile. Strawbridge has two, Pine has two, and no, Loudon, Loudon has, has one. No, Loudon has at least two, maybe three. Oh. But yeah, they've been uh, extremely accurate and extremely wide open, and Nari, his shot is off, and back come oh, the nice. Wolverines, and uh, Strawbridge with a beautiful look at the rim, and I think he had dunk on his mind, and uh, the defender cut him off at the last second. Great job with the finger roll, and such a nice player, and oh. only being in grade 10, his future is bright for Mr. Strawbridge. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see him next year and he's That's somewhere good. in southern Ontario. But I was like, this might be his last year in the Sault Ste. Marie loop. Pine now at the elbow. Kicks it out to load it. That's his sweet spot. A little long on the attempt and back come the Knights. And it's Nari now. Just tough to find the offense here right now with the guys on the floor. And turnover there by the Knights. And Pine over to McCorkle. McCorkle now. Ethan Pine, Strawbridge, he's going to shoot it. Oh! What a first quarter there by the Wolverines. I, uh, I, might, I, might, be, I might be Team Petty. Maybe I'm a little bit of a petty of a person. But if I'm White Pines and uh, the way St. Mary's has kind of handed it to me on the football field the last uh, this past season, I don't know if I'm looking to potentially run this up as high as I can here <laughs> in the regular season. Yeah, uh, I think the two. <laughs> I think the two. I'm telling you, the way, and I'm not just the way some of the uh, St. Mary's players act on the field at football. It might not. It, it might feel good if I uh, if I was on White Pines to run it up on them here. Certainly a side plot uh, <laughs> for those uh, cons conspiracy <laughs> theorists, <laughs> but. Uh, I think uh, both uh, both of these teams uh, have forgotten their football seasons, and uh, uh, certainly uh, again, I mean, White Pines has a very nice roster. They're up against a very short-handed uh, St. Mary's team. Certainly, the outcome we kind of thought was going to happen. It was going to be certainly hard pressed for St. Mary's to uh, to be successful here, and even with a full roster, you know, it's a tough matchup. This White Pines Wolverine team is loaded. They're very well coached by uh, Ian Grant and uh, very fundamentally sound, and it's just been really good basketball here early with just uh, great spacing, great ball movement, uh, you know, drive and kick, hitting the open player. They're making no mistake. Their feet are set. They're taking good shots on balance, and they're making their shots, and this is a shot-making game uh, at all levels, and especially here in the, in the senior boys' division. you got to be able to make shots, and, and uh, you know, you got the likes of, uh, of Laudit and Strawbridge and Pine, uh, who are all capable of, of shooting threes at a, at a high level. So uh, when you can do that, it's certainly going to give you an advantage. And some other players are now getting in the game here for White Pines. And three is off the mark there. By Vecchio. And now he's going to have it back there at the top. And... The Euro cuts. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will be White Pines basketball. Michelle Bamore into the ball game. Very nice football player for the Wolverines, and they'll turn over there trying to get it to Wislocki. Oh. Back on the Wolverine. It's going to be loud. It nice pass over to, oh. Oh. and it gets stolen there this time by Vecchio. And Ooh. nice try by Moore to block the shot, but he did get a piece Got of the arm the body too. and the body. 
And Becky will go to the line for two. Owen Bouchard into the game for the Wolverines. George Migos is also into the game. Vecchio's second attempt is no good. Tucker with the rebound out to Nari. His three is off. Rebounded by Pergament. And that is another miss for the Knights. It they can't afford to have. I mean, they got to be able to make the easy ones when they have those opportunity. And Wolverines now a little elbow cut, kick out off the leg of the Knights. Shot at it here. Tucker back in the game. Vecchio out. Tucker now with the rebound. Looking to get something going here for the Knights. Trying to get it to a to 10 points before the half. You're gonna have to get something going here on offense and it's Nari now looking to break down Owen Bouchard but decides to move it along and Kayan Kalalo driving to the basket and Kayan is gonna have it tied up there by Neshoba Moore and it'll be Still St. Mary's basketball with a baseline out of bounds play coming up. Kai now hits Nari. Nari rejects the screen. And he's going to go to the line for two. So a nice job there by Nari going hard to the basket and use the small advantage he had. And he'll have two from the line. Break on the rebound there. <laughs> Boom! It's Nari doing it all here for the uh, night. So, much like the first game when it was all Rusho, it's all Nari here. Uh, leading this young St. Mary's team. And there's a travel there, so the Knights will have another opportunity. And Five twenty-eight left to go here in the first half. It's the Knights by thirteen. Sorry, the Wolverines by thirteen over the Knights, twenty-six thirteen. And Kalalo now looking for the oh. give and go, and it's passes errant and out of bounds. Loud it now. Bouchard. 
Moore has the ball deflected. It's now allowed it. Look for a ball screen. Something going on here. A little two-man trigger if you can. The shot clock goes down. They don't. And back come the Knights. Kyan now gets it out to Pergament. That is not his shot. I was going to say, with the White Pine starters here uh, on the bench, uh, it's, St. Mary's hasn't really been able to take advantage of it here. But. No, I mean, that's not the shot you want. Uh, no. You know, you want to take uh, those gold medal shots, and that certainly wasn't one of them. And you want to, if, if anything, look to get it inside. There's not a lot of size out there right now for the Wolverines. You have an opportunity to get it inside and maybe uh, force them to put their starters back in the game. And here comes Nari. You're going to go right to the hoop. You know that's happening. He just can't get it to fall, and back comes Migos, and he's going to have an opportunity to go hard to the rim, and he does, and gets fouled, but he's going to get the oh. player control foul, which I don't necessarily tough, agree with. But it's a tough look there for the official. Yeah, I'm not sure that Fair was... quite a miss, that one. I'm not sure that was the right call there, but... Liam Ouellette back in the ball game. And I'm thinking if uh, the, the Knights get it to within 10, we're going to see a wholesale change here on the floor for the Wolverines. And Liam now, it's just same offense from the Knights. And not getting any advantages out of it whatsoever. And Shot by Nari is off. Tucker tries to save it but cannot and it goes back to the Wolverines. Barone checking into the ball game as is Anthony Nero. So the starting lineup back out on the floor minus, uh, minus one. So let's see if they can get something going. Get a stop here and get something going on offense and allow it now. Looking to run LA. An elbow cut. Don't have it. Bounces back out. It's a tough one for Ouellette. Foul there on the Knights and White Pines will have will have it. And it's actually the, the foul was called on number 10. Barone. Here it is. Easy bucket. I'm going to have to uh, get that out of bounds play from Coach Grant. I like it. That is a pretty good. <laughs> and uh, I think it might be their first bucket of this quarter, too. They do increase their lead to 15, and I'll let. Ulet loses the handle. He's not happy with himself. And back to back turnovers here for the Knights. Vecchio back in the game. Tucker out. McCorko back in the game. Loaded out. So Coach Grant keeping uh, the core of the second stringers out there with one of their starters. And this time it's McCorko. And he's going to lead the team as the point guard. And a little wide uh, action here. That offensive set's commonly known as wide. You want to just pass it from side to side. And you're going to set a, a ball screen for a cutter on the other side for a little elbow cut. And uh, White Pines has been doing a nice job of it here early in this game, getting a lot of great looks. And certainly, uh, certainly working for them. No, almost done first there. There's Vecchio, strong to the hoop. He could have just went with his left hand, decided to make it tough on himself, and wasn't able to finish. And now Migos looks... Kick it out and just turns the ball over. A little sloppy basketball here in the middle of the second quarter. Hey, it's the Knights 28. Sorry, and the Knights are losing 28 to 13. And go ahead, Ashley. And during this time out here, we'd like to thank our corporate champions of Huron Superior Catholic District School Board, Northern Sports Excellence, Freeze Frame Photos by Bob Davies, Wendy's of Sault Ste. Marie, Team Essentials, Maximus Rose, and True House Sports Radio. And 
<laughs> and Ryan, if you want to take a minute here to talk about the Elite Eight Basketball Academy. No, absolutely, uh, Ashton. Uh, the Elite Eight Basketball Academy is certainly uh, proud to be sponsoring both boys and girls uh, basketball uh, this season. And uh, we started last year uh, with a uh, with a skill development program, and just uh, just uh, have taken off uh, since then. And we've run numerous programs from. Uh, junior NBA. This is now the second uh, junior NBA program. Back-to-back uh, -back years of that, and this one was a 12-week program for uh, for elementary school kids. It just was uh, a fantastic uh, program, and uh, uh, led by Andrew Turgeon and uh, Adrian Kolak. And um, we are now launching our club team program. We have uh, U14 girls, U14 boys, and now our U16 girls are now uh, having their tryouts. So. For any questions or information about the Elite Eight Basketball Academy and all their programmings uh, that are happening now and in the future, just fire us an email at Elite8BasketballAcademy at gmail.com and we'll be sure to get back to you right away. So one thing that we take pride in with the Academy is we're going to get back to you right away, same day or early next day. Uh, communication is certainly something we take pride in. And give us a shout. You can also check us out on our socials as Nari makes a nice bucket and one. You can check us out on our socials at uh, the Elite Basketball Academy on Facebook and the Elite Basketball Academy on uh, on Instagram as well. And you can get some highlights from our U14 girls uh, on Instagram. We get about eight highlights on there on the Instagram reels. And certainly check that out to see some of the great things that our, our great sevens and eights are, are doing uh, on, the, on the girls' side. And the boys are going to be uh, traveling very shortly as well. So be sure to check that out. And... Back to the action here. White Pines with the ball. It's Migos looking for the cut off the screen. And it's Bouchard. His shot is off. And back come the Knights. Down 13. It's Barone. He throws it away. There's that back cut. Nice job, heads up there by Barone. Uh, White Pines is sticking with that wide offense and uh, it certainly has uh, worked for them. They, again, they've got some, some nice looks out of that. And, uh, you know, yeah, give uh, Ian Grant some credit here. I mean, this game, uh, could have got extremely ugly and he's certainly uh, shown some respect here uh, and some sportsmanship here for the Knights who are extremely young on the floor and giving his young guys an opportunity to play as well and that look there by Nari now brings the game to 11 and I think he's going to have his guys stay out the rest of the half but they will certainly be out for second half action and here's more now with a nice spin move Oh, he can't get it to go, Migos with the rebound gets it out, nice and Moore's shot is off. I almost thought I was going to find a way in off the side of the backboard for a second. Nari again. Boom! Some life here from the bench of the uh, Knights as it's now an eight point ball game for the Wolverines. Shot is up, it's off the mark. Vecchio now, 10 seconds left to go with a chance to bring it to within five. Nari's gonna go right to the hoop and one. Nari uh, is just taking over the game for for the Knights and you know the guys on the bench for the Wolverines are like coach just let us go back yeah, out for there sure. <laughs> but it's okay coach you. Grant is like it's alright boys we'll get plenty of minutes in the second half and he's letting his young guys out there and and uh, with 1.3 seconds left Nari just takes it right to the hoop does a nice job attacking the 45 goes up strong gets fouled and he makes it and just uh, an amazing first half. I'm not sure if he got all 23 points in the first, 
Uh, but he certainly got, got most of them. He certainly got a majority of them. And so just a great job there by Nari. But I mean, if I'm St. Mary's, I'm not really celebrating too much there. We know uh, kind of what happened there. And just a uh, nice job there over on the first half. It was all uh, White Pines early. And the score is 28-23 at the half. My name is Ron Linton. I'm here with Ashton Young. Jay Hauslander in studio, Chris Carr, superstar on the cameras, and we'll be back here in about 12 minutes' time. See you then. Hey, savvy business leaders and marketing maestros, dive into the awesomeness of SuperSports.com and True House Sports Radio. Picture this, your business taking center stage in our non-stop sports action network. It's a marketing fiesta, cost-effective and entertaining as a puppy in a tutu on a skateboard. Thanks to Jay Hauslander's brilliance, we've got the eyeballs and ears making your business the talk of the town and beyond. Don't keep your greatness a secret. Let's spill the beans and make your brand the life of the party. On the fastest growing sports web and radio network, SuSports.com. At True Host Sports Radio, contact us today and turn your business into the MVP of success. Hey, savvy business leaders and marketing. Mike.
We are back here at St. Mary's College for second half action here between the White Pines Wolverines and the St. Mary's Knights. And if you're just joining us now, uh, it was all White Pines Wolverines earlier in this ball game. And uh, they ended up emptying their bench and letting uh, some other guys uh, play. And St. Mary's took advantage of that. They took advantage of that and uh, made a little comeback. And now they're only down by five. But uh, it was kind of what we thought, uh, Ashton, earlier in this game. Uh, with St. Mary's kind of undermanned and uh, this White Pines Wolverines team strong regardless if they're if they're facing a full lineup or not uh, it was going to be ugly and it certainly was that early and and now uh, their starters are back in and I'm kind of accept, expecting the same thing to happen here in the second. Yeah um, Coach Grant I think uh, did Coach Kofi a favor there by playing his bench in the second quarter and at least making the game entertaining for the fans here not making it too bad early so We'll see if he uh, keeps his uh, starters in for more a quarter here in the second half. Nari now gets it over. Pergament to Nero. Over to Barone. His shot is up and off the mark. St. Mary's will have it. White? Wow. Baseline out of bounds play here for the Knights. See what they have drawn up. Barone now looks to go up with it. He does. Can't get it to fall, and McCorkle now comes back. Loud it out to McCorkle for three. It's long. Rebounded by Barone. Back home the Knights. It's Barone now. Ordinari gets it to Nero. He reverse pivots for the look. A little chase ball screen. That didn't go That in. went in. <laughs> he cannot go in through the bottom of the net. So that does not count. Wolverines now. Pine to Grant. To McCorkle on the blast cut. Can't get it to fall, but a good look there for the Wolverines. And now attacking the 45 is Nari in transition. And he caught himself underneath the basket. And presence of Marquis Strawbridge. And a nice finish there in transition by Garen Pine. Marquis defensive there. He's doing a really good job going straight up and not leaning into his... Uh the offensive player and getting those contact fouls. But Grayson Pine, a great job in transition. Stolen oh, nice. there by Marquise. Marquise, such a smooth player. Great passer. For a big man. and Only a great 10 athlete, so certainly... Bright future for number 15, and again, there is Laudit going strong to the hoop, and he's just such a smart player, Ashton. He just makes all the right decisions, and in basketball, uh, it's such a huge part of the game is having that, that guy make the right decision, and uh, I haven't seen uh, number 10 make a, a bad decision yet, so very, very smart, calculated player is Nick Laudit, and he missed the first one, but he won't miss the second. I'll bet my house on it. <laughs> and I'm homeless. Nice rebound. <laughs> nice. Ian Grant with the offensive board. And a nice finish by number five. I believe that's oh, his second basket. And there's Pergament looking to get it in. And second time Marquis says... Uh, Kick the ball uh, to prevent an easy bucket, and St. Mary's will now have to go 5v5 for their next two points. Ari in the corner being guarded by Grant. He gets it into Ulet, who's got to get it out of the corner, and he does. And is that. St. Mary's not finding much room on offense here. No, I mean, it's the same thing they've been running. It's not really finding any advantages. It's just, uh, I mean, it's called different things. It could be a UCLA cut, but 
Uh, they're not finding any advantages at all on offense, and they're going to have to try to come up with something else to gain those advantages. And what a nice oh. pass there by Grant. It's Grant to Pine. And it's a timeout for St. Mary's. And the other way, just say, White Pines look so confident and calm on offense. Just, just smooth. Yeah, they're just finding uh, whatever they want on the offensive end. Great spacing, great ball movement, great passing. And uh, they now lead by 12. And Ashton, go ahead. Yeah, and uh, just uh, during this, we're going to remind everyone that Wendy's of Sault Ste. Marie and Team Essentials have teamed up with SiouxSports.com to honor the high school's top athletes of the games when Sioux Sports TV streams their regular and postseason games. Each game, Sioux Sports TV announcers will select a player from each one of the teams where they'll be awarded a Wendy's gift card and a Team Essentials Player of the Game t-shirt. Do we just give it to Nari now? I, I, <laughs> it's both the only guy that I can think of. He's, been, uh, he's <laughs> been just doing a great job uh, keeping his team in the game. and uh, It's been the start that we thought uh, of the second half that uh, White Pine's just too much, uh, too often here for St. Mary's. and uh, It'll be tough sledding uh, moving forward. Yeah, the White Pine started here. It's like quicksand for St. Mary's. Just they're, they're trapped on defense, and it's just slowly, slowly pulling away from them. I didn't realize it was 37-23. That it is, and here comes the pressure. Little one two, little two two one oh, trap, wow. and the two two one trap is successful. Ian now slices to the rim, and shot is blocked by Nari. Out of bounds, and. White Pines will have it on a baseline out of bounds play and they'll line a little line action. Boom! That was too easy. Another one, two, yeah, one, one. A little too aggressive there from Grant. Even when the trap hasn't been successful here in that one, two, one, one, it's been... Uh, it's forced some quick shots from St. Mary's, which is pretty much the same thing. No, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, that is, uh, it's it's really tough to get steals in, in, in any kind of a press uh, at the senior level. Uh, most teams are, are at, you know, have an, enough adequate knowledge and, and skill to, to break it. But like you said, Ashton, it's not necessarily getting the steals or the tips. It's about r having them race in the half court and taking some ill-advised shots or turning the ball over. And uh, St. Mary just hasn't been able to find anything. And you, you can't just keep running the same offense, and they're not going to keep picking off these passes. And it's uh, pretty easy here for the Wolverines. It'll stay St. Mary's basketball as the ball went off of Marquise. And I might be off of Vecchio, and it was, so it'll be White Pines basketball. And back comes Grant. Marquise now. Yeah. Dribble handoff to Pine, back to Grant. Back to that wide offense, and there's the shot from Marquise is off. Loud it. His shot is long and rebounded there nicely by Anthony Nero and Glalo now. He's looking to move the ball in the transition. And he goes coast to coast for two. Long pass there by Pine, intercepted by Pergament. Here back comes Glalo. And, and Yeah, there's just no answer once you get it down there, and that's going to be an offensive foul. And great job there by McCorkle. Stand his ground, and I'm not even sure what options you're going to have, even if he does get the ball clean there. And uh, Great defense there by the Wolverines. Here it is. Easy. Nice job there by Becchio going strong to the hoop. He's fouled by McCorkle.
Vecchio makes the first of two. Pergamet with the rebound. He puts it in for his first two of the game. And they wanted a timeout, and they get one. And uh, during this timeout here, we're going to take a second to thank our corporate champions of the Huron Superior Catholic District School Board, Northern Sports Excellence, Freeze Frame Photos by Bob Davies, Wendy's of Sault Ste. Marie, Team Essentials, Maximus Rose, the Elite Eight Basketball Academy, and True House Sports Radio. If you're interested in having your business highlighted on Sioux Sports TV, contact Sioux Sports at SiouxSports at gmail.com. And keep up to date with all of the Sioux Ste. Marie High School sports online at SiouxSports.com. There you can follow the game stats as games are in progress, watch and listen live on the broadcast, and get the latest news for upcoming events. And uh, for more information on any of it, check us out at all social media platforms at Sioux Sports. So the Wolverines have opened up a 14-point lead here with three in 3.03 left to go in the third quarter. And That's easy. Another two for Marquise, and uh, gonna be tough to stop. Number 15 on that play, and there's Nari again. And this kid's got 90% of the points here for uh, for them. So I mean, just a you know a great opportunity for Nari to step up when his team is shorthanded, and he's done that. So I mean, uh, you know, it's not gonna be a great outcome here for for the Knights, but you know, you certainly found a leader in uh, in young Matthew Nari and you know when you get uh, when you get Nate Carter and uh, and Ruscio back it will certainly be a better outcome and there it is good ball movement by the Wolverines and Marquise Strawberry's not on balance that time is that not a travel? Oh, that's a St. Mary's here looking for anyone else to contribute on offense, right? Oh, you're just looking for something positive again. You're, you're not winning this basketball game. There's there's no doubt about that. Oh. There's no way they're gonna they're gonna come back and win, but you are looking for something positive and maybe maybe something from an, another role player uh, and certainly some good game experience. So you know you, you can certainly take away a positive as far as Matthew Nari is concerned and and the job he's done to, to lead this team and uh, now you're just looking maybe throughout the, the rest of this game to, to find somebody else who maybe can show that they can contribute with some uh, role minutes down down the stretch and here's Nari again just strong to the bucket Nice job, nice ball movement, two passes out, and it's an easy bucket nice for take. number 10, Nick Laudit. Two out for two. Oh, a nice little move, but one step too many, and Wolverines basketball. Well, we haven't seen, uh, Coach, we haven't seen the, the Coral Colts yet, although we are very familiar with uh, everybody on that team. And, you know, if you're going to ask me who the early favorite is, uh, you know, to uh, to win it all this year, it's got to be this uh, White Pines Wolverines team. And, oh, yeah. Um, certainly, uh, uh, 
have the, the best starting five of, a, of any team uh, in the league. And, but it's a long, long season and lots of basketball to be played. And there's a foul. Oh, the shot clock didn't go again. So, oh, no, I'm calling a block. Potentially the shot clock didn't go either. But there is a uh, foul called, I believe, on number 23. Back to the wide offense. Of course, seniors, they're going to be young this year, right? They have all those... <laughs> well, that certainly is fitting. It's a great shot there by uh, Nick Loudhead. And <laughs> He's pretty happy about that one. But wow, what a way to end the third quarter. <laughs> That one certainly deserved a boom, but I couldn't even uh, believe that went in. So I guess they're asking whether or not this, it was after the buzzer, but it certainly appeared to be well before. So the bucket is good. And the Wolverines now take a 17-point lead going in to the fourth quarter. I'm curious if Coach Grant here probably leaves the starters in for maybe the next three to four minutes. Yeah, and I then think, send them yeah. To, and then sit them to rest. Yeah, you're definitely going to play them in, in into the first four for sure. Uh, you're not going to want to give uh, St. Mary's any life. And then after four minutes or so, I'm sure he's going to empty the bench like he did in the first half. And just really impressed with uh, with the job Coach uh, Ian Grant is doing with these Wolverines. Uh, you know, they certainly uh, certainly play hard and, and uh, very fundamentally sound. Great ball movement, great spacing. Uh, for the most part, their, their shot selection is very good. Uh, and so uh, just very impressed overall with this team. And um, haven't yet seen them have to play uh, you know, a tight game or, or a game where they're going to be uh, challenged. But certainly uh, today uh, they've executed on, on both sides of the floor. Pine goes up and gets fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, and uh, just looking, and uh, in the first uh, the first week of the season, the way Pine's uh, seniors and core seniors played, it looks like a pretty close game at 66-57. So I would think that was that was the junior finals last year, if I if I'm not mistaken, in the tight one. It was, uh, however. Uh, number 15 has switched sides and yes. is now a Wolverine so I'm sure if he was a Wolverine last year it wouldn't have been a championship for the Colts uh, but uh, he is back uh, at White Pines and that is a foul and uh, so I mean uh, certainly Cora is going to be strong they definitely have some talent uh, in Eric Martone and and uh, Haim uh, who's uh, currently injured and, uh, and others but uh, when you look at overall overall talent and size, uh, I think it favors the, the Wolverines here early, and I'm sure a healthy St. Mary's squad will have uh, will have something to say. I'm not too sure uh, what the status is on uh, Mr. Trudeau's injury. It certainly uh, didn't look good, and I'm hoping that there's a chance he can get back for uh, for the playoffs because uh, I would hate for his season to to end before it started, but. This White Pines Wolverine sure looks strong. Loud it now. Little end of the shot clock. Look for a little two-man game. Shot is up. Back come the Knights. They got to start scoring every possession here early. Get themselves back in it, and they'll get a lot a chance to get two more here as Nari will go to the line. And Ashton, you know, you know, Superior Heights certainly has some talent there uh, uh, as well. And, and, and you know, the, the beauty of these uh, high school seasons is that everybody makes the playoffs. So, I mean, 
as long as you continue to get better brick by brick and day by day, uh, you know, all you got to do is be playing your best basketball uh, when those last two games are played. And if you can pull off an upset and get yourselves in the finals, anything can happen. So uh, certainly not uh, counting out Superior Heights. Oh, Jesus. Is he okay? <laughs> Liam. Oh, man. It doesn't matter if his team's down by 20 or not. <laughs> He's going to go crashing into the wall. and uh, He's just uh, such a great kid and just plays hard all the time. And If everybody played as hard as Liam, oh. they would have better results for sure. Nari's shot is off the mark. Rebounded there by Grant. He's going to take it up himself. and He rejects what was going to be a drag screen. Oh. Just takes it to the hoop himself. And one. Nice job by Ian using that athleticism to get to the rim. and He's going to get a chance for the three-point play. job by McCorgo keeping it in and now it's Migos now kicking it out lots of time left in the shot clock and it's into the corner for McCorgo shot just off the mark and now rebounded by Migos it'll be jump ball there as you let forces the jump ball and it will remain White Pines basketball baseline out of bounds play for the Wolverines Grant is hard to the hoop. He's not going to miss. From there, 57-33 for the Wolverines. 5.37 left to go, and it's Barone off the mark. A little fast break action here. Migos, too many steps. you got to put the ball down. I think he realized it halfway through. <laughs> I think he, uh, he realized it after step number six. <laughs> he says you pick the ball up. He's like, don't. Yeah. Make that kid a running back. Nari now. His three is up. Rebounded by Pine. Kicks it ahead. Kick out to Loudit for a long three. Boom! And timeout there taken by time off Coach, Coach Kofi. Kofi. With the score 59-33. And on that note... The Elite Eight Basketball Academy will. I was just going to say, we'd like to take a second to thank our uh, corporate champions of here on Superior Catholic District School Board, Northern Sports Excellence. Freeze frame photos by Bob Davies, Wendy Zasuz, St. Marie, Team Essentials, Maximus Rose, hey, True House Sports Radio. And Ryan, if you want to take a second here, talk about the Elite Eight Basketball Academy. Yeah, absolutely, Ashton. We're extremely proud to be sponsoring boys and girls uh, high school basketball again this year. And, uh, this is year two of the academy, and uh, we're off and running with a number of programs. And. Uh, <clears throat> We uh, follow one program up with another one and uh, currently have uh, wrapping up the, uh, the Junior NBA program, which is just a fantastic program that's designed by Canada Basketball. And uh, Andrew Trujan and Adrian Kolak are doing a fantastic job uh, running that program. And, uh, we currently have uh, our uh, U14 uh, boys and girls teams uh, up and running. The girls had a fantastic weekend two weeks ago. You can see all the highlights uh, or some of the highlights from that weekend. Uh, on our uh, on our Instagram page, uh, check it out at Elite Eight Basketball. 
And then our U16 girls, now that their season is over, it's all up and running with their tryouts. Uh, so uh, they've had their first two sessions of tri uh, first two tryout sessions, and uh, that team is also shaping up as well. So uh, very excited to, to travel with uh, the boys and girls here and uh, really get them some extra gains and some extra exposure. And um, it's been a fantastic start for all three teams. And if you have any questions or or you want to. Uh, find out what's happening in the future at Elite 8 Basketball, you can uh, email myself at Elite8BasketballAcademy at gmail.com and you can, uh, you'll get a response uh, from me right away and uh, back to the action here at St. Mary's. Nari now goes up strong and another finish. So it's safe to say this is a career high for Matthew Nari as he scored almost all of uh, St. Mary's 35 points here. McCorkle. Oh. Baseline out of bounds play. Looks like they're going to just do the little pop there to allow it. They don't fall for it this time. They do keep it on side and Ian Grant with another two. Justin Grant. What did I say? Ian. That would be awesome if Ian was making uh, <laughs> was making two-point buckets out there. Sorry, Justin. That kid has left it all on the court here tonight, and he is feeling it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Tell me he didn't separate his shoulder oh. here. It looks like he did. And I'm not sure how they, if they have anyone there that's going to be able to fix that. they got to be able to pop it back in place. Oh, that's too bad. It's just hanging. That's not nice looking. No, he just worked so hard. Has uh, Matthew Nari, and I just hope uh, oh, it's moving a little bit better now. I just hope he's... Uh, He's okay. They can certainly uh, ill afford to lose him for any extended period of time. So hopefully he just, uh, just jammed it momentarily. Still seems to be in quite a, quite a bit of pain. So hopefully Nari's okay. Second free throw there by Lucas Carrier is good. Not a great pass there by McCorkle. Roulette to Pergament. And he'll shoot too. I'm, if I'm White Pines, I'm just not following him there, but. No, no need. Kind of bailed him out on that one, and he'll get two from the line. Pergament misses both, and rebounded there by number seven. Rowan was lucky, and back come the Wolverines, and Grant slices again, kicks it out to his lucky, swings it to load it. A jab step shot by Amigos is off. Defense. Yeah, great defense there by McCorkle and just a, oh. just a strong game overall. He wants that pass back, but he's just played a very fundamentally sound game. All game has number eight for the Wolverines and Tucker now. He's going to go hard and he's going to get fouled by Migos. Nick Lauda with the 1990s feathered hair. I, I love it. I mean, <laughs> 
and I'm certainly not making fun of Nick. That's uh, it's fantastic here. I haven't seen the seen the feather in quite some time, and he's a throwback athlete, man. He's a grinder, and if you see him on the football field, he's tough as nails, and you see him on the basketball court, he's tough as nails, and uh, just uh, and then you know I had a chance to talk to him at White Pines. There was a, an event there with uh, the Special Olympics, and and Nick was uh, volunteering his time with the young athletes that were playing basketball, and. You know, I just had a nice conversation uh, with him. Just a very mature young man as well. And so the future is bright uh, uh, for Nick as well. And he just loves ball. So, uh, you know, if he sticks with it, I'm sure in another three years he'll be able to play at the next level if he just so wishes. And now Neshoba Moore. Ian Grant now. Or, sorry, Justin Grant again. There's a two out. Nice pass there by Loudon. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the assist. Give him the assist. I can't tell you how great he's shooting and then uh, not call that a pass. <laughs> Ethan Nero now. Sorry, Anthony Nero. But don't. With the opportunity, he's into the ball game. Also into the ball game is number five, Giacomo Steven. And Justin Grant with another two. If you have him in fantasy, he's racking up the points late yeah. here. Oh, what is got the tie up? Uh, jump ball there. Over the minute 56 here, I'll uh, go out on a limb personally here and announce the St. Mary's uh, player of the game brought to you by Wendy's of Sault Ste. Marie and Team Essentials. And it's probably going to be the guy who scored. 95% of the points for St. Mary's. That's number two, Matthew Nayari. And I hope he's okay. He's got ice on that shoulder. He seems it's like okay. Seems like he's going to be okay with it. And in a game that didn't much didn't go right for his team, he was out there giving it all he could. No, absolutely. And, uh, you know, he kind of spearheaded that little comeback there at the end of the first half. And it's just been uh, a great game by Matthew. And uh, for the White Pines Wolverines, uh, it is tough to uh, to pick a player of the game of this one, but I think I'm, I think I'm going to go with uh, number 10, Nick Lauded. Uh, just uh, his presence in the first half, he hit some big time threes early to, to, to get his team rolling, and, and when that second group was out there, he was out there leading them as well. And, um, just uh, uh, a great leader for this team and, and, and somebody that they're definitely going to have to lean on throughout the season. But Justin Grant with the big game. Uh, uh, Marquis Strawbridge also with the big game. McCorkle with a nice game as well. So, I mean, it's certainly a, a well-rounded team. Uh, Justin Grant uh, played well throughout the game as well. So this is definitely a team that's going to be reckoned with uh, down the stretch. Pick your poison. Uh, but today it's going to be uh, Nick Loudet as the White Pines player of the game. And I know there are multiple ways to pronounce that last name, Ashton. So if uh, if it is looted or loaded, or uh, if I am pronouncing it wrong, just uh, please let me know, and we will certainly correct it by the next game. This game is wrapping up here at St. Mary's College. Giacomo Steven. Pass inside to Badon. And now they'll just let it run out here. There will be no more shots. Yeah, and uh, our next broadcast here is going to be next Wednesday on Two Sports TV between the Cora Colts and the St. Mary's Knights. Uh, with the junior game starting at 530 and the senior game at 7. And it'll be our first look at Cora this year in the 2023 season. <laughs> Uh, what happened? Eyes. Did he get a technical? No, Kyan uh, unnecessarily fouled down 30. <laughs> the, the, the bench not, not overly happy about that. No need to uh, foul when the other team is just wanting to dribble out the game, but uh, young players make young mistakes. 
And this will be the he end wants of the last game. Shot. That's what he wants. So give me the no shot. More. Jack Moe's going to be told just to dribble it out, and that's going to be the end of the ball game. It's the Wolverines by 30 over uh, St. Mary's Knights, and there's plenty of action to be had for the rest of the season, so stay tuned to Sioux Sports TV as the season rolls on. And Frashton Young, Jay Hauslander, and Chris Carr. My name is Ryan Lillington, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing these two games, and 